the next presentation uh, will uh, be made uh, by Alexei Smirnov, representing Rakurs company, who will tell us how he processed uh, data from UAS. But before Alexei joined uh, Rakurs, he was what they call an operator, aerial uh, surveyor. Uh, he he used UAVs a lot. So this is a subject that is very close to his heart, and he knows ins and outs of it. Hello. Indeed, I heard many times today that UAVs at the moment is the most dynamically developing trend. This is the uh, the technology in the highest demand, but at the same time, the uh, survey land surveyors want to get the same quality result uh, acquired from uh, other methods like uh, uh, aerial photography or other things. And usually, the UAV providers they start promising, making promises, but I see no company at the conference or um, at exhibition showing any control. Uh, data proving that they always make promises, but this question always they say that you know uh, our clients have bought one uh, UAV and say that every, they do not complain or some stupid answer like uh, you understand of course and then say say some nonsense to put a final stop in this issue. This year we try to do. It is the Moscow State uh, University of Ge Geodesy and Cartography. Want to put a final step there, uh, final stop there, and uh, they organized a field trip for students on how to use UAVs for mapping. Aside from students, other people, the production people from different companies participated in order to see with their eyes how it works in field conditions, how field flight plan is prepared, uh, what data are acquired, and how they are processed. As a result, uh, we invited also three companies, IFM Service, Geoscan from St. Petersburg, and uh, Novanet company. This is the official distributor of uh, Gateway. Now this is the owner, Trimble is the owner of the company. and. Uh, they set the following tasks to process Ptero UAS imagery with high precision projection centers coordinates. Next, compare accuracy of adjustment for Ptero data over small area versus whole block. And finally, compare accuracy of adjustment results from different UAS models. The main technological workflow was quite easy. The main processing software used there was Photomod. Here you can see a classical technological workflow which we use to do all the work. For the actual objects we selected Two sites. First is the, uh, the the actual test site. I actually forgot to mention that uh, it was the test site belonging to the Moscow University, Migaik, and the overall area was about four square kilometers. And I saw, and the, as a linear object, we used the road uh, in the same vicinity of five, about five kilometer length. The first main part of this project that was the part of research work is the testing with accurate centers we used four basic baseline stations and uh, and uh, two frequency gps our owing synchronization and rectification of the track in grafnav we're using genesis plus company the accuracy on centers was about six centimeters special note is that this is the absolute maximum accuracy Throughout the processing, we identified uh, certain difficulties, like number one is the spatial offset. You can set, you can see that uh, the antenna on the UAV was installed or mounted at a certain distance from 
the receiver that was calculated by the rectification was not in that there. Another problem which was not resolved by any single company is time offset, which is related to the uh, lack of synchronization of onboard mounted equipment. In this case, we used it, it also happens when processing images from a uh, regular DSLR camera. Here you can see the results of rectification uh, for the whole block. Again, I repeat, this was we used Terra as the main UAV here. It also shows the results of rectification on centers. All uh, checkpoints were used for control, and um, and we can say that the absolute uh, accuracy of centers was about uh, 30 plus centimeters. Now, not six as originally calculated when rectifying the actual track, but after. That we apply it to images and we get this kind of accuracy result. Rectification with the uh, adjustment result by centers of GCPs. We have the following results. For the whole block, we had errors within about 16 centimeters, which in this case well, satis satisfied us for uh, 400, 1 to 400 scale requirements. Next, uh, speaking about other accuracy characteristics, we shouldn't forget about the orthophoto quality or rather interpretation capacity. And they are also interlinked with the scale and they're even uh, mentioned in the state standards. Speaking about uh, Terra re results, uh, the size of the pixel was two centimeters and you could see that the quality of uh, interpretation, speaking about uh, scale 1 to 2000, was more than enough. Speaking about the relative accuracy, same test ground was used to to test a large aerial camera DMAC. And uh, we, we used the results of that DMAC camera and uh, used it as a background information, we could export it to Orthophoto of, or, of, of Tierra and compare the accuracies. Of course, we could take DMAC as a reference, it would be stupid. That's why it was only considered as a relative accuracy. So in certain cases, the accuracy was about 18 centimeters, so the difference between these two pictures. Next, the absolute accuracy. The absolute accuracy, of course, uh, for that calculation, we use geodesical data. These are the points which were not measured in the program. They were just exported on author photo. And uh, then we measured the actual distance between these uh, GCPs and uh, actual points. Here, I wrote um, uh, average minimum and average maximum approximate image minimum maximum because there were a number of points involved and we can say that absolute uh, accuracy is, lies within this uh, range. So this is the scale of 1 to 2000 which proves that this technology works to 100% within this accuracy range. Then when we selected a small site for comparison we found out that the small site uh, shows better accuracy which we didn't expect, but that's what we acquired. So, which gives you more food for thought for other research. And uh, at the same time, we can make a judgment here that it is such a site. Later on, I will show you the comparison table with the predictivity can ensure better accuracy and be used as a background for a larger scale map. Same site was used for from GeoScan. You can see differences here, like in centers. The centers shows much worse accuracy in our case because we didn't use high precision devices and also certain size of pixel, which shows this uh, results on the control. We have about 30 centimeter accuracy, as I mentioned before. Again, same measurements uh, made on author photos. Here you can see the maximum accuracy of about 23 centimeters. 
same was done for board gate wing for for gate wing uh, UAV centers are worse uh, the size of pixel was better and the control accuracy was a bit better as well but this is only a rectification because uh, on ortho photos Adjust. adjustments so on ortho photos we uh, could see the elevation models which had to be heavily edited in manual form for the purity of this study we studied only the automatic capacities of processing because automation is something that everybody is looking at that's what everybody is talking about and as a result the minimalization of um, manual editing was something that we expected next this is the comparison table for all the studies and tests here we can already see some differences between different technologies different UAV solutions and uh, between the acquired results I will repeat that they show both relative and absolute results this is what most of the companies are lacking when they are promoting their products and uh, conclusions conclusions are the same as Amir mentioned they are quite obvious to get uh, guaranteed uh, quality ortho photo with high scale we need uh, to get uh, centers of, with differential method by dif uh, use differential GNSS for projection centers coordinates avoid somehow by correctly building a flight plan large heading pitch roll angles and uh, weather conditions are always important also and use appropriate number of ground control points and uh, those who are saying that they can do a number of control points depending on the number of uh, frames it doesn't work with uh, UAVs I can tell you that next we need the appropriate GSD and with depending on the altitude of course and use calibrated camera always as our experience shows some of the uh, internal calibration uh, doesn't uh, provide uh, appropriate quality that's all I had to tell you today one thing I forgot to mention I wanted to show you one thing very quickly some Russian users might have noticed a piece of news published on our web page when we said that we published an overview of UAVs used in Russia this is a very good overview in terms of your economic analysis we use 16 different UAVs which are used in Russia for cartography or mapping and monitoring very important information all the technical characteristics and specs which uh, with prices and so on and so forth what is offered by different companies for, to make your final economic decision is this information is quite good you can still download it from our web page or have a copy from any one of us speaking about our foreign colleagues we have also an English version of the same comparison table not everything unfortunately not everything is translated anyway I have a final copy of this file and also our English speaking friends can download it in English that's all I had to tell you thank you